Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have a video all about someone that you will see next, whoever is on your mind, the next time they see you, what will be their action. Okay, so just trying to understand what will be their move here, their action, the next time you guys see each other. Is it going to be a conversation or some kind of fire, passion, going deeper on the connection? So what's going to happen here? We're going to tap into the 5D here for some messages as well. And I hope this video helps you in some way. If you're new, my name is Josie. I hope you consider subscribing. All my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my Etsy shops. The quiz is in front of you. My own decks I have created and much more. All the links will be there. I also have a Patreon account, membership, I do live readings, private readings, all my links will be below if you want to connect with me. Today we have three options. Group one, it's with the Moon card and the Snowflake Obsidian. Okay, so this is a Snowflake Obsidian. If this crystal's calling attention or the Moon card, it's for you. Group two, it's with the Sun and the Yellow Citrine. Sun or the citrine heart here. If this is calling your attention, it's for you. And group three with the star and the this is the pink quartz, pink lilac quartz. So if this is calling your attention, it's for you. Like I always say, go with your gut feeling. Your first choice is most likely the right one. But of course, you can watch the full video and see which one resonates the most. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be in the description below. Take what is resonating, leave the rest behind, have fun as well. I was setting intentions that your spirit guides will help you take only what is resonating. Again, group one, moon card and the snowflake obsidian. Group two with the sun card and the yellow citrine. And group three with the star card and the pink cards. Timestamp always on the first pinned comment and the description below. Thanks for watching. Hi, group one. If you choose the moon card and the snowflake obsidian, the moon card is for Pisces as well as a zodiac sign. We're gonna get more details here with another specific astrological deck here. But this energy of maybe secret admirers, someone hiding here, Pisces can be you, someone that you're dealing with, or it can be just their energy as well, in need of healing or really trusting their feelings, their intuition. Chose this card for a reason. But let's try to understand here what is going to be their action the next time you see each other. Okay. We do have the Eight of Wands and the Moon. Look at the double confirmation on the Moon here for you, straight away. So Eight of Swords and the Moon. So definitely the Pisces energy. Hermit too, with the Virgo. I'm not sure if you guys are communicating now, because this is like a hidden energy. Got my cards here. The Knight of Wands, okay. Like I'm going to take only what's turning. The King of Wands too. Okay. Knight and King. We also have the Four of Cups. Another King. The King of Swords. Okay. The next action. The next time they see you. Eight of Cups. Okay. We're going to get extra card here in a bit, but we do have the Eight of Swords, Moon. So I do feel like this energy of someone that it's, I feel like hiding a bit, hiding their feelings. Interesting you chose the Moon and you got the Moon here. So definitely double confirmation on Secret Admirers or someone just in need to go deeper or trust how they feel to open up. So not the easiest to open up here. They have this hermit mode here. I'm not sure if you're communicating now. But the next time you cross paths, I feel like they do want to talk to you and they want to open up here. But they feel a bit stuck. You can see it with the Eight of Swords. So someone that is trying to 
open to understand how do I really feel here? Can I trust? I feel like it takes a little bit of time, but they do step into courage and action because the Knight of Wands is here and the King of Wands is here. So you know when someone is close to you and they finally see you, maybe you have not seen each other for some time and you see each other here and they are a bit taken back, you know, not just surprised maybe by see you, but, you know, trying to control their feelings, their emotions. So they feel a bit stuck on what to say. They could get a little bit uh, just on a holding back here on communication and being completely open the moment they see you. But I feel like the courage builds up because it's knight and king of wands and they definitely have a, a, the courage to make some kind of offer, gesture. And of course it depends what you want because the four of wands it's someone that could be offering you something and you still wanted to reject them or you're still thinking, do I give them a chance or not? So I feel like they have the courage to offer here. The guy just say, don't miss an opportunity if this is what you want because is this is the courage that they have and it can be very adventurous with the Knight of Wands and even the King of Wands, this fire, this passion, this attraction is here. Even if they try to hold back in the beginning, they really can't. So they do communicate with you, they open up as the King of Swords. And I feel like you have a chance here to really trust your height your intuition on what you want. Some of you guys will actually reject this person, but of course it's up to you. You know, it's your decision at the end of the day. Energetically, it feels like at some point you walk away. It can be that you have that fire, that passion encounter here and you enjoy that, but you walk away anyway, or you have to travel back to where you are because this energy of travels going away and it can be difficult to walk away from this, but it maybe it's because the timing, you could be in a place that you're not going to be together for a long time or you just see each other. If there's a timing situation here and you have to walk away or you, you decided to walk away no matter what. So I feel like you are being very clear on what is important for you what's best for you so i feel like you could be really in this fire passion attraction time here together the knight the king and you have this adventure you have this offer i feel like you're still trying to decide here if you should take this chance or not so I, even if you guys um enjoy maybe um night of passion and you really are together here for some time i feel like you still have to walk away at some point not that you have to i feel like it's what you could be coming to that conclusion at some point or it's because some of you just reject their offer and you wanted to pass this by because this is like not missing this opportunity you don't want this opportunity so it depends of course you know take what's resonating maybe you do want to go through that adventure time together and then decide what's best for you and some of you don't even want it to take the chance. They will try. That's the main thing. They will try. The next time they wanted to see you, they will see you here. They will try. And they will try. They could come very seductive. You know, the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, can be this fire, this passion. Even if they're a bit shy in the beginning, they will change that very much. Especially stepping into King of Wands and King of Swords can be very confident on how they talk, very seductive. So again, it's up to you how far you will allow this to go because they wanted to go all in. It's up to you. I don't feel like they come with um, commitment or maybe they can't, whatever the situation, but they, I feel like they hold back on talking, they finally have the courage and they go all in. And then it's up to you how far you wanted this to go. Let's see if we get more clarity here. They're definitely approaching you. The dragonfly, you see, lighthearted and adapt, finding out and change, things come into light and heal. And definitely the healing mode with the moon. So it could be that they want to talk to you because they know they have to apologize or they need to tell you that they're different, they have changed. And it could be this energy here trying to understand. And I feel like they come very lighthearted, you know, very fun, very playful. 
again it's up to you things come to the light here anyway so they will communicate and that's what the moon do, does to bringing things to the light if this is the secret admirer they cannot hold anymore you see the separation sadness bitterness missing you thinking about the uncertain future this could be something that it has an uncertain future for some reason for so they what is resonating and remember here the eight of cups can be that separation at the end of all and uh, someone missing you they could be talking to you letting you know that they were missing you thinking about you but the future is still uncertain for some reason here for group one you may know why maybe it's because you're walking away you don't want or because there's a distance this can be travel energies maybe you guys are not in the same place you know hermit the eight of cups can be this journey so it could be in your own journey or far physically from each other you cannot sustain a relationship but you could have that time of fire passion connection so but there's some kind of distance too and they could be just explaining to you as well when you guys were in separation how sad they were that kind of energies here take what's resonating again and addictions codependency obsession restraint possession and control emotional block so i feel like they have this energy that is it's like an addiction in your connection you know coming back to you or coming back into this situation or even you feel this way it could be codependencies here and not just on the relationship but other things affecting this connection i really feel like there's something outside of this connection that affects you guys so take what is resonating here and of course it's not every card for everybody we also have the mask look at that uh, beginning here with the moon hiding true feelings pretending and dilute gaslight and personify so they could be just hiding pretending that they don't feel anything i feel like it just comes to the surface they can't hold anymore after this so it really is something that it's you know it comes out so they they are masking and they could start that especially with the eight of swords holding back a bit is their own illusion that they release here that they realize so let me get just a couple of other cards like just one more card here okay sunglasses watching looking uh perception is talking <laughs> so some of them keeping an eye on the social media right now and this energy here of really trying to understand where you are where you could go here so i feel like even if you're not uh, together after all they could be watching your social media it could be that kind of energy here let me get other cards here those are the astrology cards so just to see if there's any zodiac sign any trait anything here that you can understand we have the night house which is you can see for sagittarius philosophy advanced studies travel exploration spirituality interesting with the travel that's what i was saying about the travel energies here for you guys for sure and um sorry i know it's trying to focus here but i feel like it, this is spirituality my guys to say you could have similar beliefs or you, you can you could have cross path for a reason and really trying to understand here this connection is for exploration you see the knight of wands here it's a reason here to explore to have some knowledge so it could be learning a lesson here too it could be soulmates teaching each other lessons helping each other to grow what else do we need to know okay we do have mercury and we have uh, intellect mind thoughts communication interaction the messenger and no doubt with the king of swords here too this communication some of that is gonna open up and you can see with mercury and being able to help that the messenger so it really feels like this this person that could be really with this intellect could be mind over emotions trying to hold back here but they will be able to open up we have the moon look at that triple confirmation on the moon here the card you chose the moon here and this here wow look at that 
intuition, inside world, emotions, needs, comfort zone, the inner child. So this energy of really allowing some healing, trusting the intuition. I feel like that's why they wanted to talk to you and they open up because they trust you. Okay, maybe it's now or never. I could be missing my opportunity. But there's some emotions here. Even if they're hiding, because with the moon, it can be hidden. When it comes to the surface, the moment they see you, you know, when you feel that emotion, that connection, they can't hide anymore. So it really feels that way. And the 11th house, friends and uh, collective projects, community, activism, hopes, dreams. This is for the Aquarius energies here, you can see, for the 11th house. But maybe you guys are just friends, or you could be ending up friends here at least, and doing something, helping each other. This is someone with a lot of hopes and dreams still for this connection, but it really feels like there's something that they still hold back. There could be something that is still, there's a reason here that you still have to go through some kind of challenge here to have really your chance in this connection for some reason. Let's get some messages from a person, tap into their 5D. If they had the courage to tell you something, what would they say to you, group one? Triple confirmation, the moon Pisces. I like you more than I'm letting on. Look at that hiding energy of the moon. Again, hiding for sure, not telling you everything. I'm afraid of getting hurt. You see, if they were hurt in the past, past connections could have been difficult. What do you want to say to you, group one? Outside the influences are affecting us. Look at that. I do feel like this is the case here for group one. Something is affecting. Third party energies. Like I always say about third parties. It may not be someone that they, they are with. For some of you, yes, a karmic connection. And maybe they are with this person. But it could be that they are only healing from this person. It can be just outside influences. Family, friends, gossip afraid of how what people would think that kind of energy is here so they got this resonating of course and i see a future with you you see that hope that is still a future that's a possibility here of course depends what you want they still have hope and i'm damaged so again it could be from the past you see you're afraid of getting hurt whatever happened in the past maybe you know even between you guys. I hope everything works out between us. You see the hope is still here. Working that thing. So hoping it will work out. Uh, this feels like someone that's hoping things will unfold without having to do much as well. I'm focused on my career right now. And it could be what they're doing. Studies, career. Just to be able to forget about their feelings too. You know when someone is avoiding. The moment is hiding. And you make me believe in true love. You see here? When they see you, they feel that connection. And one last message. I think you are beautiful. Okay, so no doubt someone that feels like you're beautiful inside and out. And it could be very attracted to you. I feel like their approach is care from the beginning. And then with the fire passion of the knight and king of wands. But also this kind of this connection in a way of the king of swords too being very analytical of everything and really evaluate how hard it is to be together what is affecting you guys here is still unfolding is still affecting so someone that is definitely gonna try here some fire passion depends how far you want it to go i feel like it's gonna be up to you but they will go all in even though they're hiding in the beginning they really cannot uh, hold back anymore once they see you. I hope this makes sense and helps out. I'll leave with this group one. If it helps out, let me know, leave me a comment, and I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals are seen in front of you, my own decks I've created, and much more, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much, and as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed, and healing day. Thanks for watching! Hi, group two, if you chose the sun card and the yellow citrine here for you. We do have the sun for the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius can be a fiery connection, can be a lot of attraction here. But this is an opportunity when you guys see each other 
that they will have clarity. So this can be really clear what is best for you or what do they really want with you. So it's going to be very clear the next time you see each other. But let's see here with the tarot as well. So what's going to be their action the next time they see you? Ten of Swords. So this can be a very difficult conversation. Things are very clear the next time. The Knight of Cups. Look at that. Still opening their heart. It can be difficult. But they wanted to open their heart. Okay. What do we have with the Ace? Look at the other swords. Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. Four of Swords. I see where this is going. Five of Cups. Okay. The next time they see you. All the clarity of the Sun. King of Cups. Look at that. From Knight to King of Cups. And also the seven of wands. Okay. Many things going on here for communication. Whenever you guys see each other, there's going to be a lot of conversation here. If you're not talking right now, you're going to be talking. That's for sure. That door is open. We do have the ace of swords. We have the ten of swords. So it can be difficult conversations. It can be because you guys need to allow healing, you need to apologize, or they needed to apologize. It really feels like they needed to talk to you about something that they were holding back. I feel like apologies here for many of you for sure, but they are opening their heart. Knight of Cups really wants to open their heart, offer something. They try to make amends and definitely tell you that they learned a lesson from the past. They wanted to ask you for patience as well with them. They're afraid of what you're going to be doing, like your reaction. But I do feel like they know they needed to at least try. They're going to, I feel like, stand here for the connection. And it could have been difficult. It could have been things that you guys hurt each other. Or they were just completing a phase of healing from the past, whether it was a past with you or someone else or anything that was difficult for this connection. So I really feel like they are trying to see things from a more positive perspective, even if things have been difficult for you guys. I feel like it's someone that really wants to make amends and apologize because they are pouring their heart here. And it feels like they feel bad that they could be regrets here. And it could be regretting not taking a chance with you. Even if you guys didn't hurt each other or were not really together. This could have been a crush energy that they didn't have the courage. They didn't trust the heart to take a chance with you. And now they needed to tell you. Now they don't want to miss their chance anymore. It really is a lesson from the past. So it feels like there was something that happened in the past. Whether you guys were together or you had the chance to be together. And they missed that opportunity. And now they wanted to create the foundations again of trust, of patience, of doing the right thing at the right time. And they do move from knight to king of cups. So this person has feelings for you and they wanted to let you know. They wanted to stand tall and uh, strong for this connection. I feel like they wanted to fight for the connection. They wanted to at least tell you that they mean well this time. So it feels like that fire, that passion of the seven of ones, it can be really fighting for this because this can be against the odds or against some people too. Maybe there are people that are against your connection or it could be difficult here to really maintain this connection going forward. So there's something here that they could be you needed to tell you, okay, I will fight for this connection or I want to fight for us. So it's some kind of conversation like that. So the, the action is really some kind of apology for some of you. Again, take only what was an 80, of course. But I do feel like they needed to tell you there is a serious conversation for them to really open their heart. Because it feels like there's some regret of not telling you the truth or hurting you in some way, or just holding back, not trusting their heart. They need to complete this 10. 10 is a completion. They need to close that chapter and resolve that to be able to open this new path. 
whether you wanted to give them a chance or not. I feel like they want a, a chance to at least interesting. I'm um, um, Claire audience. My guides are saying they need a chance for at least a goodbye. If you don't want anything to do with them, they wanted to make amends. They wanted to have one last night together. If you allow them, something like that. You know, there's definitely this fire energy of the sun here. And the seven of wands is saying they really wanted to at least try. You know, it depends what you want. But there's a lot of feelings, emotions, healing needed. So this is someone that if they didn't tell you, if they were not talking to you, they were hiding their feelings here. And it could have been difficult because if they had to go against someone or something, maybe third party energies, family, or anything that was holding back for you guys. So I feel like group two, you get an apology. You get someone honest, very straightforward, telling you how they feel and hoping for at least a, a night together. Or I feel like this chance of being able to, I feel like, kiss you one last kiss, one last night. Of course, it's up to you. I feel like someone that... If you don't give them a chance at all, because maybe you don't want the two. I feel like some of you don't want the two or you can't. Maybe you'll have to walk away. The six of swords is uh, travel energies. Maybe you guys will not see each other for too long or you have to go back or he, they have to go back. So whatever the situation, learning the lesson. So I feel like they want the to take one last chance because... My guides are saying it could be now or never. Maybe they missed this opportunity before and this is their last chance or maybe their last chance for a long time. So the next time they will try this last opportunity to be with you, whether it's just a kiss or a night together or something. So it feels like they wanted this, this closing if it really you don't want anything to do with them. And if you do, it could be really opening here a chance for you guys to fight for the connection but depends what you want to of course let's see here what else very interesting for group two what else do we see we have teddy bear look at that interested in you blooming romance flirting wanted to date so yes they do want that but they feel like it depends what you want of course many of you maybe don't want that or you can't so they're interested in you for sure they will let you know Knight and King of Cups will open their heart. They will let you know that they're interested, they have feelings. They have romantic feelings for you. They're flirting with you. They want to date, but it depends what you want. Especially if they messed up in the past. Abundance, so positive mindset, manifest, gratitude, bliss, blessings. Interesting with the sun, because the sun is definitely the energy too, of more positive mindset. And especially if in the past was difficult with this Ten of Swords because they were overthinking because the Ten of Swords is communications too. Maybe it was miscommunications or really overthinking about the connection or the difficult uh, situations, you know, when something is only on, someone is just focusing on what is negative here. So I feel like the mindset is very different this time with more of this bliss or enjoying the moment fire passion positive mindset for sure this time and you will see that and also you see healing heart definitely the ten of swords healing heartbreak toxicity or addiction addiction abusive relationship so i feel like it's a chance for you guys to allow to make amends of course if you want to what's next here but i feel like they wanted to tell you how they're feeling or how they hurt when they hurt you they got hurt too or that kind of energy here are you guys hurting each other healing so it's an opportunity again not for everybody maybe just uh reading getting this reading for your crush they could be telling you where their fears are coming from that kind of energy here also sword and rose and clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, determination. And that's what I say about the sun too, that you're choosing here because it's the clarity on your mind, the truth for sure. Even if it's a hard conversation, they are being honest with you. Honor, protect, they want to, to take a chance here for the connection. They, this determination of the seven of wands is someone, you know, ready to 
fight for the connection too, but they know that it depends on what you want it to. At the end of the deck, we do have coffee cup, so they could be asking to meet you, meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship. So even if they start slowly, friendly, it feels like they wanted to take their chance. They could be inviting you for coffee, if, and they could be really hoping to get you alone, just a two view. And um, savoring the moment, enjoying the moment. That's why they say about one last kiss, one last night together, whatever it may be. Just savoring that moment, even if it's to hold as a memory and you don't know what's next. And it could be just building friendship, trust, taking the time. It's whatever you want. I feel like it depends what you want to, of course. Let's get all the cards here to just understand here more about this person. And these are astrology cards. We do have zodiac signs here, houses, and all that. So, part of fortune. Lucky is star, hope, good fortune, success, opportunity. So, this is definitely an opportunity here for you guys. And I feel like this person is waiting for this chance, this opportunity to talk to you, to be around you. So, and it's a success if you, depending on what you want. They're still hopeful. You see this still with the hope here. So I know it's trying to focus here. Success, opportunity. So they're waiting for this chance. Okay, so they could be waiting for a while. Maybe you guys, again, with this travel energies, maybe you guys are not around each other. So they could be waiting for that. Also the Jupiter, expansion, wealth, generosity, confidence, enthusiasm, the benevolent guide. Interesting Jupiter with the Abundance card here because it's this expansion here. Someone that could be working on their career finances, trying to prove themselves to you. And I feel like this generosity is opening the heart as well. Being more confident at this time and enthusiastic as well. So it's like you, you can see that they really wanted to open up compared to past times that maybe they really held back. to have the fifth house which is for leo you see the fire energies the courage the leo creativity romance fun hobbies pleasures children so you can see this energy here of enjoying the moment that's what i said about romance fun and um, maybe the, the night together fire passion with the fire energies of leo and i feel like this children is like understanding like enjoying the present as well without thinking so much about the 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 things that are against this connection or difficult or anything i feel like they you can see that they are more in this youth energy no matter the age you know i feel like this energy of enjoying like kids would you know the moment be very honest very genuine and the North Node as well, path of evolution, the door to the future. And I feel like you guys are confronted with what's next in this connection. After this conversation, this chance to be together, they definitely wanted to know what you wanted to. Even if there are some things that you guys would need to fight together against for this connection, it's a path of evolution. No matter what you decide, we're evolving, growing with everything here. So I feel like that's a very important time here for you guys. So that's very interesting. I wanted to tap into the 5D and see what messages they wanted to say to you. But no doubt, group two, they wanted to talk to you, open up to you, open their heart. Not just the throat chakra, the heart chakra for sure. And it can be difficult conversations for some of you or just uh, them open up about miscommunications or overthinking about this connection. Closing a chapter that was difficult and having an opportunity now, even if it's the last chance, even if it's one time only, whatever you want, it could be to open the door or to close. Okay, so it could be confronted with a now or never situation. And I feel like that's interesting. We, see we have the door to the future. And it depends whatever you want here with this door to the future. Let's tap into the 5D again. What do they want to tell you if they had the courage? 
from the 5D, their messages to you. Group two, you make me feel safe and secure. You can see here, again, things that they will say to you or they're feeling now, so they wanted to let you know. That. Sorry, I was cut away there. Your other message is I choose silence because there I feel no rejection. Again, if that's what's happening right now, or if that they are not communicating so much, even if you are talking, but they don't open up, you know, the Ten of Swords afraid of getting rejected or or that things will be ended up in a bad way. So if they're quiet right now, they will be able to open up. And I think of you often, so no doubt thinking about you, you can see that. And the Ten of Swords can be someone that you are on their mind a lot, but with fears as well, insecurities. We also have, I'm not completely over my ex yet. For some of you, they're still healing, you see here. They're still healing there. There could be these third-party energies. They still need to resolve that. Maybe you know, maybe they will tell you what was their issue, why they couldn't open up. Also, I love talking to you. You see here, there could be memories if you're not talking right now, how they feel around you. Things are just weird between us right now. You see that they really wanted to open up whatever was difficult or weird between you guys. They wanted to clear. That's why I feel like they really want to resolve things. I wanted to be the reason you smile all day. Yeah, look at that. Hoping to be that reason. I think you're really sexy. Look at that fire energy. The sun is here. Definitely attracted to you. And you are always on my mind. Yeah, there's a lot of swords here, and this is someone that is thinking a lot, overthinking too. You are on their mind. They really wanted to open up because it could be that they missed their chance, their opportunity. They don't want to miss again, and it could be regrets as well or hurt from the past. They needed to make amends here in some way, and it feels like that's what they want. Even if it's just one last time together, depends how far you want that to go. I feel like they will try, even if it's now or never situation. It feels like you come to a crossroads after this. Do you want to fight for the connection or do you want to just enjoy the time together and walk away as well? You definitely feel like you have a decision after this, but they will open up to you the next time. I'll leave with this group two. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals you see in front of you, my own decks I have created, and much more, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed, and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, Group 3. If you chose the star card and the pink lilac quartz here for you, restart with the star i'm gonna get a few cards for you the star is for uh, aquarius energies for the zodiac signs but this energy of hope and wishes could be someone really wishing to talk to you still hopeful for the connection wants to communicate with the aquarius air signs and it could be this energy of guidance as well looking for help, looking for guidance for this connection, could be really hoping to talk to you soon. But let's see here their actions the next time they see you. What do they want to open up? What do they want to do? What do they want to say? I'm going to get messages here from them too. Group 3, Ace of Pentacles. Their actions the next time they see you. Okay. Knight of Swords, and next time, Page of Pentacles, and victory, Nine of Pentacles, their actions the next time they see you. Lovers, okay. The next time they see you, Ten of Cups. Look at that group. 
free depends what you want of course we do have the eight of wands and the sun interesting because every group got uh, some of the cards that were the auctions for the other group as well so i wanted to get the, to check on the sun pile as well but you do have the ace of pentacles here this person really wants to talk to you the next time you guys cross path it can be a lot of fire passion it depends of course what you want how far you want things to go but this person can start a little bit friendly and slow okay with the ace of pentacles page of pentacles being careful but they're waiting for the chance that you are alone you know nine of pentacles is like a single energy it feels like they could be waiting when you are alone by yourself to really talk to you maybe when you cross path there are other people there that's how my guides are saying maybe it's a party a gathering or maybe it's just because there are other people around you you're really not alone straight away and it feels like they wanted to get you to like a corner or a chance to be alone with you and whenever they do they do not waste a the opportunity the knight of swords is quite fast when they want something they focus they take action they tell you everything that they want to tell you and it feels like they really wanted to connect with you the lovers is here and the lovers is your choice of course we do have the knight of swords for air signs gemini libra aquarius and you do have aquarius with this the star and gemini with the lovers here and it feels like they wanted the connection they want you to choose them the lovers is about the choice, being lovers, being together, spending the time together. They dream about the future with you, but there's a lot of fire passion here. So it feels like they could be hoping for a future, but they don't want to waste the opportunity that you guys are together. You have this chance together right now. Let's not miss the opportunity. Fire passion. These are travel energies. So maybe you guys are far from each other, have to travel to be together, but between the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, these are quite fast energies. And the sun is here for that explosion of fire and knowing what they want and really going for it. So I feel like the moment you have a chance, because again, it may not be straight away because you could be in this specific place with people, the moment they have a chance, they will not miss one opportunity to tell you how they feel, to be all over you, to try to spend time with you, kiss you, a night with you, whatever you want, how far you want, they will want. I tell you that. But it depends, of course, what you want because they will try. And there's a fire, passion, attraction, connection, chemistry. There's so much coming to the surface here. To be with you would be a wish coming true. My guide is saying the star card for that wish, that hope as well. So it's what, it's what they want. It doesn't mean like it's easy because they need to be careful. They're slow here. Around other people, they're very careful. You can see this energy of Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Friendly, Nine of Pentacles. So this work to be done. This Nine of Pentacles shows this work. And even the Eight of Wands can be a bit overwhelming as well. And it can be a lot of things going on. Other people around, you need to give attention to them. And you know this person is flirting with you, trying to talk to you, by, uh, you know, alone. But you are here taking care of people, being friendly and trying to, you know, when you smile and you keep face. When you're really hoping to run away and be with this person or talking with them and go somewhere alone. And it feels like that overwhelming energy. There's a lot of back and forth, I feel like flirting messages you could be messaging each other until you have this chance it feels like again travel energies maybe you guys are not from the same time uh the same place so it's this chance that you have so you cannot miss this opportunity because maybe it's timing here you see how fast it is so maybe it's something with timing as well you may not have as much time as you hope for but i really feel like this person we want to be with you. Whatever you want uh, with them as well, you will have a chance. 
how far you want to have a chance. There's a lot of hope, but there's this overwhelming energy too of having to pretend around other people. Maybe it's forbidden love. Maybe it's hidden for some reason. So think what is resonating. That's what's coming to me because there's something here that we needed to be careful. But there are lots of hope and opportunity and possibilities with the Ten of Cups to be happy. But that change changes that need there's really a need to adjust. That's how my guides are saying. This Eight of Wands and the Sun for many things is still coming to the surface to resolve. So I feel like enjoying the present moment and hoping for the future or how far you can manifest or resolve this in the future. That's how my guides are saying. But let's hear with this card. What else can we understand here? We're going to get some messages from a person too. I see the sheep. That's what I'm saying about the travel energies. Cutting ties, moving on, receive what you need, progressing and arriving. This is like really a travel energy. And I feel like there are many things going on. So it could be deciding after this. What do you do? Do you cut ties? Do you move on? Or you, you receive what you need, what you want, and then you decide. So it feels like after this meeting... Something progresses and you understand what you really want. Do you want to be with them or not? Do you want to fight for the connection or not? There's some overwhelming energies, but it feels like you 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 stay you are together again as far as you want this connection to go. You have a chance here the next time, but it's a decision point after that. That's how it feels. Maybe because you guys, or they have to go back to where they're from, or you have to definitely the travel, the distance energy here for some of you. And you have um, healthy choices, which is self-love, self-care, being happier, love and life. And I feel like you're choosing what's good for you. Whatever happens here, whether you enjoy the moment and walk away, or you wanted to enjoy the moment and build something and fight for the connection, you will know what's best for you healthy choices doing things that's good for you as well and i feel like there's love there's feelings here but you're choosing yourself too and the hammer is sabotaging rebuild the persistence working on it repairing and i feel like that is this energy of the eight of wands because there's a lot of back and forth so it may not be so straightforward and easy to be together so there's this sabotaging rebuild is this persistence so i feel like they are persisting maybe because they missed their opportunities in the past and they wanted to have their chance here again working on it repairing they wanted to repair especially if they missed their opportunity or they messed up in the past camera reminiscing making memories learn from the past perception you see learning from the past again they wanted to do something different from the past if this is just a crush and they never had the courage to approach you, if this is someone that you guys were together but they hurt you or you guys hurt each other, they really wanted to make amends, do something different from the past. And it's a different perspective. They're missing, they could have been really missing you. Can, they can tell you that they were missing you, thinking about you. And I feel like trying anyway to do something different from the past for sure. At the end of the deck, blowing kiss, which is unconditional love, giving and receiving fairness and love, affection returned. So, yes, they have feelings for you. This is affection returned here. Of course, it's up to you how far or what they really want next. But I feel like they don't want to miss the opportunity because this could be their last chance around you. This could be... They feel like, again, with the travel, the distance, or something against this connection. There's a lot of fire, passion, attraction, chemistry. This could be soulmate, twin flames, connections. But there's a lot of this energy of wanting to be together, but against the odds as well. A lot of opportunity, but also a lesson. There's a lot of lessons here. Interesting. Let me see this one. This is the astro These are astrological cards. So some zodiac signs could be here to a mix of houses, other things, planets. We have Pluto, transformation, inner power, unconscious, obsession, intensity, the alchemist. 
very interesting because I do feel a lot of intensity in this energy here. And definitely a transformation, someone that could be trying to prove themselves to you. Something changed here, this inner power now, the courage to try. It can be a bit obsessive as well. It's very intense, but it's a transformation. Alchemist. And what else? We do have this Scorpio. Look at the deep waters. Get to the bottom of things. Sort it out. Transform. I'm telling you, transformation again. And the Scorpio maybe is their sign. Uh, just the deep waters to be in this connection. To allow the chance. It could have been a deep healing or deep waters to be in this connection. Okay, so something needs to transform as well. And sort it out. So resolving. Maybe some of them apologizing to you. Also, Earth, we do have physicality, stability, foundations, nature, and strength. And these are for, you can see here, the signs for Capricorn and Taurus and Virgo. This energy of the Earth as well. So being realistic, having to see what's important for you guys. It could be still building on the career, on the finances to be with you or prove themselves to you, grow, evolve, show stability. Maybe they feel like they needed to prove themselves or be ready for you. I feel like it's that hope that they can create this stability. But this energy of, I feel like the earth energies as well, nature, strength, courage, and the physicality as well. So there's a lot of... Um, physical connection here too and anything else one last card we do have the first house for aries personality identity individuality beginnings and goals so of course it depends of you i feel like again it's an energy of a chance after this or a decision after this, it could be beginnings, it could be even endings as well. But the something is transforming after this meeting here. It really feels like. Let me see here for messages from our past. We tap into their 5D. What do they want to tell you? If they have the courage here, we tap into their 5D. I have trust issues. Okay, so they need to tell you they you guys need to maybe trust each other again especially if they didn't trust themselves in the past i'm unfulfilled there is still something missing for me and maybe it's you maybe it's because they needed to prove themselves i'm feeling a little lost right now see here they wanted to open up and let you know or maybe explain why they acted the way they did in the past I want us to get past the phase we are in right now. That's what I say about something needs to transform after this. Maybe because it's a chance to really go next to the next level of this connection. Or just understanding where you are, really where you stand. This connection is triggering me. You see, it really is because it could be because they didn't have the courage. And I was triggering to prove themselves or do better. That kind of energy is here. I'll take just one is too many. I need you to take the lead. Okay, so you may need to send them a sign. They can start there. They will be quite straightforward. But they remember this beginning that is a bit slow or friendly or around other people. They need to flirt back. They need to know, okay, do you feel the same? So I can keep going here. So it's our decision at the end of the day. And we have a very special connection. And I really feel that. That's a reason for having uh, cross each other's path. And there's a reason for you guys meeting again or, or talking again or healing, helping each other in some way. But, okay, they need to, to take a lead. They need to send them a sign. You need to tell them how far you want it is to go, of course. And we need to spend more time together. Yeah. That's what they want here. To spend time together alone. What else they want? I'm scared to start over again. You see here their fear 
of starting over. So there's some fears here, maybe fears of the situation or again, the distance or other people, whatever it may be, something does hold back here a bit, but just know that this person wants this connection. So the next time, it may be a little bit slow, the beginning friendly, maybe around other people waiting for you to, to send them a sign or flirt back and things can be really fast, really intense here, but it really feels like you come to a, some kind of completion or conclusion or decision. What now? So it, it could be this decision after this encounter, but they definitely start slowly, careful, and they really go deep and they don't want it to miss this opportunity because it could be their last chance. So they don't want it to miss that. That's what I have here for your group tree. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment, and I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals you see in front of you, my own decks I have created and much more, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.